Okay. So today I am going to review the Mammy Cooker. Mommy Cooker? I don't know. Um, cordless Coffee Grinder. Now, I am an avid coffee drinker. I do highly encourage everyone to grind their own coffee. It tastes so much better than the pre-ground stuff that's been sitting in storage ground up for who knows how long. But um, this was a pretty exciting find. Um, I will say right off the bat, out of the box, you get all this. Now, granted, there's coffee in here already because, of course, I tested it, so I wanted to show you here. But um, there's coffee in there already, but you get the, the cordless charger. This thing has some heft to it. I mean, it's... It's not super heavy, so anybody can pick it up. But it's not like, when you pick this up, you can tell this is not cheap, right? So that's good. This is stainless steel. It's got indentations. It looks like it's on the outside, but it's reversed because it's actually indented. You can read the two different max lines on the inside of the cup. It has the grinding lid, and it has a storage lid. So you can store on used ground coffee cups. You have the scoop, as well as a brush, which I have already used. And I'll explain to you in a second why. And then you have your USB charger because coffee is supposed to be ground at your desk. Or using your car charger inside your car. You should never grind coffee in your kitchen with a plug because that's where people try to drink coffee at. So always make sure to grind your coffee at an odd place that has a USB charger. Like your desk or your computer. Or use a car charger. But never try to grind coffee in your kitchen. What an odd place that you would grind coffee. So, of course, because you should never grind coffee in your kitchen, they did not give you a plug. They used a regular USB charger. You can grind it in your kitchen, but you don't have to find your own plug. But who would do that? Because who drinks coffee in their kitchen? Anyways, I digress. Here you have your instruction booklet, which, of course, most people just chuck. I will say I did just glance over it. And looking in the beginning here... It tells you that, um, what is it I read here? It is forbidden to immerse it in electrical appliance, or like, uh, for, it's forbidden to immerse electrical appliances in water. Um, duh. It's not forbidden, it's just stupid. Um, anyways, here's the assembly. It says, spin figure. Okay, so I'm going to spin it. Alright, I spin it. It says put figure, okay, I've put it. And it says cover figure, okay, I've covered it. And then it says press figure, so press, press, press. I press the figures. Oh, wait, press, press. Okay, hold on. Press. Okay, I pressed them. All right. Anyways, I went ahead and gave this a test, and the video I was going to originally post was a disaster. <laughs> Because I learned something that's not covered in the instructions. I thought this was only for storing your coffee grounds. When you take it out of the box, this is on here. And then it's on there. And this is covering it. It's all completely assembled. But the instructions say to use this, this, and this. I did that. And this coffee that's in here, partially ground up, flew out everywhere. Even with this lid on it. It was all over the inside of this lid. All around the lip of this thing all over the outside of this stuck in the cracks down here underneath the coffee grinder it was down in here I had it's still some in there I had to brush it out you could hear it all crunching around like you know what coffee beans should sound like but it was obviously something was wrong so I stopped it took it out and there was just coffee all throughout the whole machine it was no it wasn't pretty sight at all so I took it out and what did I do? I was like, okay, well, the instructions don't say to use this, but let me put it on there because it does fit even with this on there. And I tried it again, and sure enough, this is something the instructions are missing to tell you that this should be on here before you put this on here. As you can see, it does not say to use that lid. So, unless that's what that put figure is, but I don't see anything. So, and I did put... And nothing happened. Anyways. So I put this on here. I will say it's pretty good quality material. It's got the warning labels. It's got the the max lines. for I guess for max one pot of coffee. Two pots of coffee. Maybe a cup. I don't know. 
and then here's your lid you can still you can see there's still coffee inside there from that disaster but it lock it it turns around here let me lock it real quick okay so it's locked on there out of the box this came with a 75 percent charge one big bonus i like was that it actually tells you when you press it how much charge there is so um you press the button once to turn it on you press it again to turn it off it's not rocket science it doesn't need to do more than that uh, so i pressed it once you can hear it running. In that 10 seconds, it went from 75 to 50%, if that even was 10 seconds. But it's probably been sitting at a factory with that charge for I don't know how long, and I didn't add any charge to it. So I wouldn't give that too much thought. It probably just needs a full charge. So what do we have inside? So I took the lid off. See, now that I have this lid on here, I don't have this giant disaster. And I have some pretty nice grounds in here. I'm, I use my coffee to, coffee grounds to either do French press and I also do my own cold brew. Um, this is a very even texture, honestly. I'm very happy with it. I think for a portable coffee grinder, this is pretty nice. I think the big draw to this is the fact that it's cordless. You could really take this anywhere, take it camping or something with you. Um, even just charging it, this would be great at an office. So say you, I mean, if you have an office where you're not going to be grinding coffee around other people and annoying them, if you had your own office with a door and you wanted to grind your own coffee, then there you go. This is convenient for that as well. Really easy to store. There's no hefty cords to wrap up. Um, it's, you know, here's my hand. It's, I mean, I got two pots, there's two pots of coffee in here probably, um, with that little bit, so... I would think that this is a pretty good product, honestly, other than the fact that I wish it, the instructions were very clear about using this lid. As you can see, this coffee is just everywhere. It could be my coffee, too. This is uh, imported Italian coffee I bought, um, so I don't know if there's something special about these beans, but I, I doubt it. Um, but, and then you get the, you know, the scoop, which is great as well, so. I, I would say four out of five stars. Take the one star away for the lack of the directions on that. Um, I'll count that same star as to why this doesn't have a plug as well. So four out of five stars on this product. Give it a shot.